Today's sponsor is Audible.com, a leading provider of spoken audio information and entertainment. Listen to audiobooks whenever and wherever you want. We're at the park today with Indy hanging out. It's a beautiful day. What do you want to work on with Indy? We want to teach her a trick. Don't laugh at me. It's kind of a trick I should have already taught her and I haven't. Sit pretty? Sit pretty. I love sit pretty and I never taught her. I think this is my favorite set that we filmed in. I like shooting in different locations. That's actually something we're hoping to do next summer for 2015. Dog training across America. Yeah, I've, I've updated a milestone on my Patreon account. Uh, Patreon is the way we raise money to make these videos, uh, one of the ways that we do that. And I figure if we can get Patreon up to the $5,000 a month mark that we could probably get out there, shoot videos with you guys around America. It'll be awesome. It'll be so worth it. So if you guys feel like you want to contribute to these videos and help us do the road trip for next year, visit patreon.com slash George. The link will be in the description. But if you don't want to, that's OK, too. No matter what, we're going to always have these free videos here for anyone who wants to learn about teaching their dog. Indy? Do you want to work on Sit Pretty? I've noticed that people who take the time to teach their dogs tricks generally have better well-behaved dogs. That's because tricks are a fantastic way to build communication and build it fast. So if you happen to be one of those people who's of the mindset, you know, I don't really care about tricks. I just care about the basics. Think again, because if you want super fast progress, teaching tricks is a great way to achieve that. Sit Pretty is a great way to refine your luring abilities as it requires you to really find that sweet spot. Now, I'll have a video in this description that will give you a more detailed lesson on luring, but bottom line, luring is simply getting your dog to achieve a specific physical position with a treat or a toy. We'll be using clicker training in this lesson. This is a clicker. It makes that sound, and all that sound means to your dog is, good dog, I like what you did, you win a prize. Now in my next video, I'll be giving you a more proper introduction to clicker training, but I really love using clicker training for tricks in particular because it allows you to be pinpoint accurate with your timing. We wanna lure with the nose, not the eyes. A lot of people do this right here and their dog will just jump up. With a lure, you have to be prepared to get a lot of dog spit on your hand, which is you know, whatever. When you first start doing this, a lot of dogs will attempt to just stand straight up on their hind legs, which is totally awesome, but that's a separate trick. We'll do that one in a future video. I've got such a grip on it that she can't take it out of my hand. Good. And right, if she wants to balance right there, I'll take it. But I mean, that's literally how close a lure should be in the beginning when teaching your dog. Good girl. I've gotten this method down pretty well, being able to slowly disperse tiny pieces of chicken during a move like that. Right now, she wants to sniff around. I'm going to let her do it because she's been, you know, trying to work on this trick for the last minute she's in a new environment. I'm going to be tolerant of that. I'm going to let her snip around. I'm not in any hurry, but there's a dog over there she's looking at. Indy. Yes. Good. Yes. Stay. Look at that. Yeah, See that? that was awesome. Remember, you're teaching a new phrase, so be very deliberate about the way you communicate. Avoid saying much and just focus on getting your dog into position. However, once they show that they're starting to get what you're asking, only then should you simultaneously say, sit pretty as they perform the action. Don't be overly repetitive. After the first several training sessions, you'll begin to be able to preempt the behavior with the phrase, sit pretty. Right there, we got three successes in a row. She got bored again. I've got two choices. I can give her a break or I can make the game more exciting. I'm gonna try and make the game more exciting to her. If that doesn't work, I'll be content to give her a break. Uh, one thing that's not an option is to be frustrated in this instance, because that gets you nowhere. So, I mean, just don't be, and if you are, stop. She's getting a little a little frustrated. You can tell by her just general body language. So, when your dog starts to get frustrated, I go back to something really easy, do a couple of those. So, something like, look at me. Indy. Yes. Good girl, very good. Be flexible. Sometimes switching your currency from food to play or the other way around can help you get some extra time out of your training sessions. I'm gonna give her a free one there just to keep her interested. Sit. Yes, good. Let go. Yeah, which is fine. I'm gonna tolerate that because I'm changing a variable on her. I'm rewarding her with the ball instead of food. So I'm not gonna insist that she do it as well as she was doing with the food. Yes. So right now I'm willing to make the trade off. Like I, I'd rather have her excited and not doing the trick as well because I have her attention on me better. So it's, this is kind of a version of taking a step back on your training uh, with the aim of having better progress than you initially did. This is how you might use a ball as a lure. Yes, good girl, get it, get it, go on. So this is exactly the point where I would get frustrated in my training before you taught me. And I would just think like, okay, well, I tried, it didn't work, I'm not a good enough trainer, or Indy's not into the trick, or whatever, but she just needs a five minute break. I couldn't understand what you are saying, I was admiring your beauty.
during the commercial of your favorite TV show or something like that, take a minute to work with them. It all adds up over time. It's important to be really content to have your dog's attention for 15, 20 seconds at a time, especially if they're not used to different environments in the beginning. Uh, and, and to be tolerant and let them go explore for a minute and then try and get them back after they've satisfied their curiosity. Uh, and that, that's just kind of a thing you have to feel out with your individual dog. The ball was working okay, but I felt if I could get Indy interested in food that I would be able to more accurately show her what we wanted. Yes, yeah, pretty good. And I mean, right there after a two minute break, she's right back into it. And that was probably one of her, her best sit pretties of the day. Look at that. Yes, oh, I love it, I love it. Come on, get it, get it, yes. The best trainers yeah, are really good about girl. finding those awesome. little reasons to reward when their dog isn't really into it. Sit. Look yeah. at it, and I mean, she went right into it there. I'm gonna put her back down. And I'm gonna withhold the period of time from which I click now, because I'm gonna try and get her to, to hold it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna delay my click to let her know that I like it. Indy, sit. Yes, ready? Nope, ready? Yes, stay, stay. Good, I'll take that, I'll take that. Yes, sit pretty, good girl, yes! And every, and even though I'm clicking multiple times, I'm releasing a bit of chicken every time that I click. Excellent. Wow. Good, so the next step you know, to this would be trying to get the lure a little bit farther away from her nose. I think today might be a bit premature for that. Now Brianna's gonna give it a shot with Indy, which is kind of strange because now she's like my student, but really she's my girlfriend, you know, and co-producer as well. She does a great job helping me make these videos. What can't she do? This is so weird for me to be on this side of the camera. Yeah, good. Yeah, see, and see how you have her attention a lot good more now? Girl. Good, yeah, and really, even more. I would have liked to have seen more enthusiasm. Did you see that? Yep, yeah, now, now you're really getting her. Good She's really girl. into it right now. And that's, that's your energy right there. She's really responding to your genuine attitude. Sit pretty, yes, good, good. Yeah, good, good job. Oh, right. Andy, that was so good. Really? As their muscle memory gets better and better and they're able to balance and get used to that position, you'll start to see a lot more success with it, but she's doing good. I'm proud of her. Dogs are incredibly smart and they're a product of artificial selection. Did you guys know that when Charles Darwin was doing his preliminary research on evolution, that one of the first things he noticed was the domestic dog and how people were able to select for certain characteristics by breeding certain breeds together. Required reading for anyone interested in evolution is The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. Bree and I are major science people and we never stop learning. We're both very busy walking your dog, hanging out at the park, driving to work. All of these are great times to get an extra book or two in. If you want to listen to it, Audible has it with over 150,000 titles and virtually every genre you'll find exactly what you're looking for. Audible.com has been kind enough to offer viewers of the Dog Training Revolution a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook. Just go to audible.com slash Zach George to get your free audiobook and membership today. In my next video, I'll be giving you a proper introduction to clicker training, so make sure you're subscribed to see that. Click thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and consider visiting our Patreon account at patreon.com slash Zach George, link in the description, to put us on the road to work with you for summer 2015. Okay guys, we'll see you in the next video. Check out these videos too. Do you need help with teaching your dog to come to you? Check out Cheeto the Corgi, he's super awesome. Do you wanna do more trick training? Watch Piper the Aussie learn how to whisper. Do you need a better understanding of lure training? Knox the Border Collie and I will show you how to teach sit, down, up, and stand in a single training session. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe too.